Hello, hello, hello. You're welcome to my channel one more time. My name is Oge Chima Dukoma. I'm the MDC of Lumajos Enterprises. On this channel, I tell you everything about business and also some very practical skills on how to start your business and also some some trainings, practical training on how to make soap and other household cleaning products. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome to my channel. And if you're a new subscriber, please do well to subscribe. And also ensure to hit the like button and also the notification button so that you don't miss up as I upload new videos every week. I, assure, I, I promise you that you're going to get value value on those channels. So please and please and please, if you if you're a new sub, if you're new if you're a new if you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, you're welcome. I appreciate you. Just click on the like button so that more people get to see this video and also click on the notification button so that each time I upload a new video, you'll get notified. I do I, I upload trainings, very practical trainings. You even if you check my channel, you see trainings on how to make liquid soap, on how to make um a freshener and the rest of it because at Blue Major Skills Acquisition and Center, what we do is to teach you practical skills, practical we teach you practically on how to produce various household cleaning products that will help you start your business. We also help you guide you until you started that business. And we also do, um, help you to start your manufacturing business as a whole. But on this channel, in addition to that, I also give you some other business tips, like, I, like I'm going to do today, to tell you about a business grant opportunity, which I have told you about earlier, but I said I was going to do a step by step and um, video on how you're going to apply so let's jump in the video let's jump into the video right now and start. but please i beg you if you're a first time if you're a first timer here please do well to subscribe please subscribe and if you're returning subscribe, please hit the like button so that youtube gets to show it to more people and so, uh, and so that is so that they not forget to see those that need to see it and please if you have a question for me you can leave it in the comment section please do well to engage with this video thank you very much okay hello 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 hope you're fine welcome back to my channel remember the last time i promised i was going to take us through a step-by-step -step guide on how to apply for the tech and entrepreneurship program on the website so that is what i am about to do now so to apply you go to your browser and type tefconnect.com sorry tefconnect.net you go to your browser and type tefconnect.net so you click on it when you click on it it will it you allow it to load remember you go to your browser and you type tefconnect.net it will load and bring you to this interface it will ask you to choose your language here so if you're french your portuguese your english you choose i will choose english and english when you choose on that so you come down here, you see where it says, apply for the 2022 Tony Elumelu Foundation Entrepreneurship Program. So you click on it. So when you click on it, it brings you to this interface. It will ask you to either log in or sign up. So if, you, if you've created an account on Tef Connect before now, all you do is to log in. But if you've not created any account on Tef Connect before now, you click on sign up up here. When you click on sign up, you click on sign up and you allow it to load. You click on sign up and you allow it to. So when you click on sign up, it brings you to this interface. It asks you to enter your first name, you enter your last name, you enter your email and you choose a password, not, not the password you use for your email, any password, just choose a new password for this particular platform. A pa pa password that you always remember. It must not be a password that you've been using for your email or for any other thing. You can just choose a new password. And that password must be at least eight, eight, eight um, numbers. It, it can either be, uh, it, it must be a combination of numbers, of letters, of special character. Special character is either star, hashtag, and the hash and the rest of them. It must have an upper case. I mean, it must have a capital letter and it must have a small letter. So you combine all those things and it must not be less than eight. 
eight eight digits, eight digits. You, the, you remember it must have an uppercase, which is capital letter. It must have a lowercase, small that must have a number from zero to nine. It must have a special character, either ash or star or any any of them. Just enter them there. Then you click on you click on this. I am you you agree to the to the policy. Then you say sign up. Then if you say sign up, it will send an email. It will send a confirmation link to that email that you entered here. So you now go back to that email you entered there. You go you you check your mail. You check for a mail from Tony Elumelu Foundation. When you see that mail, you click on it. So it will, you will see a confirmation link. It will tell you click on this confirmation link link to continue. So you click click on that confirmation link. It will tell you your email has been confirmed. So it will bring you back to this interface where you will now click on login. You will now click on login and you will now enter that email you entered right now and then the password that you chose, you enter it and then you continue. So I already have an account here. So I'll just click on my, I already saved my email and password on my, I'm using my phone. So to tell you that you can do it with your phone also, but to make it faster, you can get a laptop. You can get a laptop. A laptop will make it faster. But if you don't have a laptop, you can try with your phone. But I know that it, 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 when, you, when, you, when we go into the um, um, application proper, laptop is better because it is, it, is, um, it, is, it is faster. So I'll just click on continue because I already have, I'll just click on, I'll just enter my login details because I already created this account on the platform. So I'll log in. I'll log in and I'll allow it to load. So it's telling me log in successfully. So this is an application I did for somebody. So why it will bring you to this interface. When it brings you here, when it brings you here, here we've done, we've, we've finished this application though. When it brings you here, you click on, you go to language and click on, on, on your language, you click on language. So you go to application. You go to application. When you come here, you go to application. You go to application. There are so many programs that Steph is running. So many programs that they are running. So this one is the one we are applying for the application portal. This one, the Steph flagship program. There's other programs here. If you still check if you are eligible for any of them. You, you read about the program, you read about the program and read about, there are, there are many of them here. If you click on the one that you are not allowed to apply for, it will tell you that you are not allowed for it. So, but this is the one we are interested in. Because I've already completed my application, that's why it's telling me that it's 100% complete. But if it is, if you, if you just started, if you just, see, it's telling me that I have successfully completed this application, telling me everything because I have I have completed. So but if you've not completed you when you click on application, it will bring you to it will bring you to an interface where it will tell you to enter your personal details. You tell you to enter your personal details. So you complete that you enter all the information it, it needs. Your um other details about you shall you see them there. When you enter them you click on continue. When you click on continue it will bring you to Test guidelines. It will it will it will bring you to um a, their terms and agreement. So you if you like you can read through the terms and agreement. If you don't like, just scroll down and click on accept. When you scroll down and click on accept, then it will also take you to another page that is telling you about the program, the guidelines for the for the program. It tell it will tell you that this program is for is for it must, you must not be under 18 years to apply for this program. You must be in an African country. You must, you, you, you should tell you, I should also tell you that before you start the application process, you must have a means of uh, identification ready. It can either be your voter's card, your international passport, your driver's license, or any acceptable ID. You get that ID, you scan it, or you snap it with your phone and save it in your computer or in your phone. Save it either in JPEG format or in P P PNG format. When you've saved it there, you leave it there because after you click on, after you click on the 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 after you click on the guidance 
and you say continue, or you say next or continue, it will now bring you to another interface where you will now enter all your details. You enter your date of birth, you enter your personal details, you enter your date of birth, you enter your your street address, you enter all the information, you see them there. I've already done those. That's why that is why I'm you, I'm, I'm I'm explaining now. So when you see all those, I do not tell you to upload your ID card. The, remember, I said you would have before you start the application, you would have snapped the ID card or scanned it and saved it either in JPEG format or in, or in PNG format. When you say that you upload the ID, when you've uploaded the ID, you click on continue. Then you will see the application. You see the the application proper. So this application normally comes in three stages. One is to test your one is your a, a personality test to so check your personality. So just ask you a question. Remember, they will also tell you that before you start taking the test, make sure you are in an area where the internet connection is very strong, because you are allowed to take that test only once, and you have just 45 minutes. The test is timed. In fact, as you're doing it, you will be seeing the timer reading. The test is timed. So you say that you need to take, you need to, you need to go to a place where the um, connection is very strong, a place where you will not be distracted, a place where you are very concentrated and you are you are fine, you are comfortable before you start the, the application. If not, if you don't complete it within that 45 minutes, it you'll be disqualified. You can only take that test once. You are not allowed to repeat it. So when you when you've got, got gotten to such a place, then you start the application. It it comes in three stages. One is a personality test, just just to test to know your personality. Just simple question, um, um, objective questions. You just be asking you. It has options there. You just be choosing options. Fast, 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 fast. When you're done with that personality test, it will take you to another in um the next stage, which is like testing for your testing your business um how knowledgeable you are in business. To so ask you some business questions, you just answer fast, 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 fast. When you've answered that also, you, when you're done, you click on next. It will take you to the last aspect, telling you what, which is about the grant, asking you some questions about the grant, asking you to either some questions. Have you gotten this grant before? Is your business um, 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 is your business not associated with any corrupt whatever? Is your business legal? Is your business registered? Has your business been, have, you, have you been convicted before? If you just ask you all those questions. You just be clicking either yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. Most of them it will be no because most of the questions they are negative questions, so it will be no. Once you are done with the, the, with the last step, you just click on submit. Once you submit, it will tell you immediately if you've qualified. If you qualify to tell you to tell you that you should be you, congratulations that you've qualified to go to the next stage of the Tony Elumelu Entrepreneurship Program, that an email will be sent to you by the 16th of April to tell you what next to do. So it will tell you here. And when you go to your mail, you see the same mail. And by the time you are done doing everything, you will see it 100% complete. So if you do anything and you, you cannot see this 100%, that means you have, not, you have not done all that you need to do. So once you are done with everything that you need to do, it will tell you that you are 100% complete. That means you are done with the application. But it will also tell you that you need to go back and take the business test. And that test is this part. After you are done with the application, it will tell you to come back and take the business test. So you, go, you come to this TEF training. There are some business courses here. So you just read up, like see business management training. It has starting model. You can see this person has not started. This person I did for has not started his own at all. That's why it's telling me zero percent complete. So you just come here and you click on this general business toolkit and ever you start your own business training. It would it is it, like a course. It will teach you something. It will not ask you questions, which you answer, and then you proceed. So that is all about the Tony Elumelu Foundation. Let's start. This, this, this video is not too long. It's already going. It's already 12 a minute plus. So that we and it, this, this is just a summary of how you apply. It's not hard. Just go to stephconnect.net. It will it will it will give instructions on how to continue. So I'm going to even upload a guideline on. Going to I'm going to put a link to a guideline that you can just read through and go. It's easy. So just try it out. Don't don't freak out. It's easy. It's nothing difficult. 
So just go there, type on text connect. You can follow the instructions I just gave now. When you when you, when you sign up, enter your details. It will send an email to your mail, a confirmation email. You confirm your email, then you come back to login. Enter all your details. Make sure you've already you already have a scan ID saved in JPEG or PNG format. It will ask for all those details. You, you after you're done with that, it will ask you to it will, you you see the terms and agreement. You click on next. You it, you uh, you click on accept. When you are done with accepting, it will bring you to a test guideline. You click on next. There it will bring you to a page where you enter your all your details and where you upload that your ID card. Once you've done that, it will bring you back to this page and you click on application. Remember application. Remember you click on application and it will bring you to the application proper. Remember I said the application comes in three, they are in three they are in three sections. The first session, the first session is a personality test just to check your personality, just to asking you question about yourself, about human then personality generally. It's just a yes or no question. Yes or no, yes or no, or just ask you questions. You answer. It, and after that, you click on when you're done, you click on next. It will take you to to another session, business session, where it wants to test your knowledge of business. It's not they are simple questions. So once you answer th that question, it takes you to the last session, which is um about um the uh, the, the grant itself. Just asking you a question about the grant. Have you been convicted before? Now you say no. Have you has has, has any partner been convicted? Just ask you also. Your most of the answers will be no, 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 because. Most of those questions are negative. Once you are done with the, with the last session, you just click on submit. Immediately it will tell you if you've if you've succeeded or not. So it will if you say today that it will send it tell you that you you'll be contacted after the 16th of April to tell you what next to do. But that you should go ahead and take the business training and take the business training. You just come to this test training and take this course here. And remember that for you to be sure that you you're done, you must see. This hundred percent completed. If you if you know up to hundred percent, that means there's something you have not done right. So you must do it until you see hundred percent, and you you've received that email from them telling you that you've qualified to the next stage and that you'll be contacted after the sixteenth of April. I hope I've been able to do a little bit justice to. If you think you still have questions, you can ask you can ask me questions. You can ask me questions. I'll, I'll I'll answer. Just ask question on the comment section. I'll ask. I'll answer. Or you can even come to my WhatsApp. I'll give my WhatsApp number. My WhatsApp number is zero eight zero two nine zero four double six zero five. So just ask me questions and I'll answer. I wish you success. Good luck. Thank you so much and God bless you. Thank you so much and God bless you.